Okay, gents, let's focus now on the Winter Olympics. Let's have a little bit of fun. Obviously, it's coming up in Beijing across the NBC Sports and NBC family of channels. Going to be a huge, huge uh, competition. So many great uh, events. And we've been having some fun in our meetings discussing which Premier League managers or players would be good at particular events. So I know we've got some lists there. Um, Nick, do you want to kick us off here? Because I think when we first said we were going to discuss doing a segment on this, we initially all said Sean Dyche would be great at one thing. So take it away, mate. <laughs> oh, my guy. The looky like you know what he's looking like? He's looking like an Olympic curling captain, Absolutely. hollering at his people to sweep, steely determination as he just turns it a little bit. And unfortunately, Mr. Dyche can't go through the air uh, to get this done. But I think he is a perfect mix for this. I'm going to take that. I want to raise you guys. Would, and follow me here, who would be a better pair for my man, Alan St. Maximin, in figure skating? Tobin Heath or Christian Pulisic? Wow. Andy, I'll let you say It's got to be Tobin. It, the, the skill on display with Tobin, I, I think that w we would see we would see something that has never been seen before in figure skating. That That's the type of player that she is. I think that's what she would bring to the ice as well. I, I like the Sean Dyche thing. I was also thinking there, I could see him doing ski jumping, but in short sleeves, like, you know, <laughs> how he was out there in the snow a few weeks ago with the, with the short sleeve, uh, you know, dresser. I could see him out there, you know, just staring up and down, sizing up the competition. They're in their full body suits, you know, to meant to, to help them through the air aerodynamically, keep them warm. And he's just out there, loose sleeves, t-shirt, um, and, and he wipes the competition. So uh, Sean Dyche, anywhere cold, I, I think is just, it, it's gold for television. Oh, that would be incredible. I mean, we could be a bit harsh to say ski jumping. There's a few Premier League players who like to take a bit of a dive or jump around a bit. So there could be a few contenders for that. Uh, in terms of, I'm looking at some of the other, I love all these events, by the way. It's so cool. I mean, snowboarding, I feel somebody like Phil Foden, uh, Riyad Mahrez, players with a few tricks up their sleeve. Grealish. Grealish would be great at that as well, snowboarding. I mean, Nick, what other uh, events uh, in the Winter Olympics are you really looking forward to? And which ones do you think would suit some Premier League or maybe U.S. men's national team players? Well, my favorite my favorite is ice hockey, as you know. I mean, that's where I started. I started skating when I was like three years old or something crazy like that. Uh, I think I, I would vote for a team like Leicester being the best at ice hockey in terms of uh, being able to defend, but also move forward and counter when you get the puck back, I have a question. I have two questions for you. One, this was Joe's idea before, so I don't mean to rob it, but I think we can all agree that Jurgen Klopp would run a pretty nasty bobsled team with his okay. uh, with his attackers with him, and maybe Henderson also in there. But is Granite Shaka doing the skeleton or the luge? Is he headbutting someone, or is he going two footed down the ice? That's what I want to know. <sighs> Whatever he's doing will be out of control, I'm pretty sure. We can all guarantee on that. But, um, yeah, that's incredible. I'm really looking forward to this. this. Coming from a country like, the, obviously, England and the UK, there aren't many mountains here. There is not a lot of winter sports. So it's always really intriguing to me just to see how the UK does, some of the backstories. And I think I really enjoy the bobsled the most. I mean, just to see the speed that they hit, the control. And, yeah, I, I love that. And, and ski jumping's always really been something that, I've looked at and just thought, fair play. Whoever does that, <laughs> you know, that they deserve a medal. Just give everybody who's in the ski jumping competition a medal to start with because that takes a lot of bottle to do that. Andy, any final thoughts on the Olympics coming up in Beijing? No, I'm, I'm racking my brain for a backflip celebrator in the Premier League right now because we've had some in the past. So that would obviously be great for, for ski jumping or snowboarding, the acrobatics involved. But there really isn't. When was the last time we had a backflip celebration in the Premier League? I feel like it's been well, it's listen, been quite guys, a while. I've got great news for you. Uh, Joe Ellington does that. He just okay. hasn't scored. So the problem I knew it was is coming. I knew it was score. coming and I still laughed. Firmino's done kind of the helicopter chop in the past um, and St. Max for that. I do, Joe, I want to give Southampton a shout here. You ready for this? Okay. Biathlon. Who could run like a maniac for 80 minutes, then slow his breath and hit a pinpoint shot? So I think James Ward-Prowse could bring England a medal. Ruben Neves might be good for that too. Oh, nice. So, okay, that's good. We're looking at post-playing careers. A lot of Premier League players could maybe go into a Winter, winter Olympic event for their countries. 
would love to see that. What a great crossover. Yeah, let's. I'm thinking about when I'm going to be watching the Winter Olympics now. I'm going to be thinking about Premier League players or Sean Dyche curling or Jurgen Klopp leading the bobsled team. It's going to be a lot of fun. I remember across NBC Sports's and NBC's family of channels, we'll have you covered with everything from Beijing across the Winter Olympics. And there'll be Premier League going on at the same time as well. So lots of crossover just like this. I had so much fun doing that, lads. That was, that was really good uh, to break that down. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock, where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.